Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. We're playing the beta last episode. I kind of got you caught up on a lot of what has been added to the island. Took a long time, but there is a lot more. <laughs> There's a lot more to do. Just before hitting the record button here, I noticed I've got a couple trucks that cannot get to where they want to go. So this is something that's, I think, new with beta. The uh, developers mentioned that they used to have kind of a, an algorithm that would run behind the scenes that would get trucks kind of unstuck or try to get them running. And they said that people kind of confused it for a bug. So they just, they're letting us solve the problem now ourselves and see what the issue is. So we've got a truck here that's carrying construction parts and it says it can't reach its destination. Let's see if I click on it, it shows me where it's trying to go way out here so it's trying to bring construction parts over to our new warehouse that i put down to store rubber it cannot get there so we look we can see this path if there is a way through here this path is is blocked because we've got a water pipe here we could maybe fix this i don't know the trucks are coming through this way uh if they even can i guess they probably could we could fix that. Let's fix that real quick while we see it. I don't know that this is the way he's trying to come, but we have a solution for this particular problem. So let's just do it while we see it. I think what we can do is grab a pipe here. Stay nice and high. Right. Then double back on ourselves like this and then come in low and hook up so e to low no whoops q to lower we might have to get rid of the existing pipe let me let me place this here like we don't need to go that far back but uh let's clean it up a little bit Back up, right click, bring it back. I don't think we need to be that far back. Now, what can I get down there still? Um, I think we will, let's place it. Let's see, why would it not let me do that? I'm going to place that. Let's delete this one real quick. Lee. And then we'll high prioritize that. Boom. Let things run. And then we should be able to get it hooked up. Do the water input here. Got to wait for that to clear. The other problem we've got, I think, is this belt right here. I think trucks can get under there but they cannot get under the sloped belt. So we'll do maybe something similar. We need to feed that one. We're feeding this boiler and then we're sending coal down here to our rubber plant. We can just branch off of this earlier, I think, and then go up, go high. There is a little dip here we gotta deal with. So we'll do something similar. I'm going to grab the U-shaped conveyor for this one. Break off a little piece. And we can just pause that. I don't really want that built. Delete this one. That segment can go. And then if we want... We could branch from over here and try and get up. We'll wait for that. Ooh, let's high prioritize that one too. Uh, boom. This one done yet? Nope. Hopefully trucks can get to that. They may not be able to get to that to even dismantle it. I think they should be able to get through here. We'll see. Eventually we'll clear out some of the stone. This mountainside. 
While we're waiting on those things, let's take a look at our ship. Uh, needs 108 iron plates to be delivered. They should be on their way. That's just more landfill coming. We've got plenty of iron plates, I think. Yeah, we this storage is actually full. Our belt is full. I think we can actually open up this storage now. We had to have that paused. We've got 32 workers. I suppose we could maybe instead of doing that. I think do we have people on the ship? We do. Nice. Since we've got extra workers that came in with the ship, I'm gonna turn on our cargo ship and let this guy unload his crude oil because we have an oil rig out there that is full. This guy is just waiting for the cargo ship to come. So we have the workers to keep that on. We'll do it. Diesel is slowly climbing. We're in good shape. Maintenance has recovered. So that's in good shape. Curious. Now I'm wondering if we cannot actually de deconstruct that, uh, deconstruct that pipe over here. If no one can get to it, eventually this farm's going to go away. It's not the end of the world. Let's route the coal belt. Uh, we just need to get higher up sooner, I believe. What about, we could branch off of this same one just for the heck of it. Try it. Go all the way up. Whoops, not that. It's not a belt. That is U-shaped conveyor. Grab this guy. Up we go. You and then you. Now I gotta think trucks should be able to get through there. So they should be able to get to this unit storage and get that constructed just by coming through here. I would think this is all higher up. And get rid of this little temporary guy we placed. Uh, our truck weight is up to 537 seconds. 541. Looks like it's slowly climbing. Okay, we still have about 88 iron plate to deliver. Here comes a load of 20. Let's see, are those trucks, have they moved on? Nope, this guy is unhappy too. Here's the original two guys. They're still waiting for us to clear a path. They still can't get there. We got trucks moving all over down through here, so we know they're able to get through here. Pretty sure they can make it under all these belts. Now this one's a little lower, but yeah, this truck can make it through. So why can they not drive through this? That's the part I'm not sure. Gotta be able to climb under that. That's pretty high up. Both of those are. Should be able to find their way here. Now, I'm not sure what the problem is. We'll let it run for a bit and see if they can make it. Same thing here, right? With this belt. A rubber was delivered here, so somebody made it this far. But nothing has been delivered for this one yet. And we have construction materials ready to come. We might... Hmm. We might try resetting these trucks if they're just locked in. Usually they will kind of find their way. Here's another one. Where is he looking to reach? Same place, probably. Oh, he's looking to deconstruct. He can't get there to deconstruct. Wonder why. Oh, here's one. Well, this might be a little too congested in here. Particularly this belt 
right here could be causing issues where they can't go through or don't think they can get through. Is that guy going to do it? No. Tell you what. Let's let's head the other direction. This now this whole road may be too narrow. These two things may be too close together. In fact, we could probably just tear out these uh water collectors. Um, why don't we do that? This these don't have a long life anyway. Because we're gonna remove these. All part of the plan. So I'll mark both of those for deletion. Let's see if trucks can find their way to those. Cutting through here. Might not be able to. This belt may be a problem. You guys are all still pretty unhappy. I'm thinking it may be this conveyor right here that's causing us issues. I'm going to give it a minute or two. Let's see how the ship's doing. See if we can send it back out. Still waiting on 28 more iron plates. Our new belt is up and running. Yeah, I thought for sure they'd be able to get through here. I don't know if these supports matter, if they can just go through those or not. Guess we could readjust where the supports are and make sure there's an open path. I'm not sure if those are, if those get in the way or not. All right, still no luck, still no luck. What about these guys? Let's prioritize these for removal and see if the trucks can get to there. Okay, they can. That may open up a path. Prioritize this one as well. Check our ship. Still need those plates. Cargo ship is unloading. Let's take a look at the map. We're going to head back out with the ship, probably to these four nodes near the bottom that have the question marks. We can get to those without fighting pirates, I think. This one looks like it's linked up, so we could deal with these pirates later. See what we can find and get some more people. We have plenty of jobs on the island. Okay, looks like he's going to help deconstruct some stuff. Okay, let's see if that one thing opened up anything for us. Nope, these guys still all look blocked and unhappy. Three truck, trucks cannot get where they want to go. Seems like they would be able to get under here, but... And then under here, but this might be a little too snug. Food looks good. Diesel continues to climb. I think we've got room for almost 3,000 3, units of diesel in this array of tanks. Unity is still holding pretty good. We don't have the research lab going. Uh, we've got 60 construction part threes. Those are taking forever. Do we even have it turned on? We do, but not much is happening over here. What are they waiting on? Iron plates. Okay. Yeah, we just opened up that warehouse. That will catch up. All right. One more trip iron plates and we can send the ship out. Okay. That is now fully deconstructed. There are two water collectors. Let's see. Our truck's still unhappy. They still can't make it. That's a problem. That is a problem. How do we fix it? We could start leveling off all this land, but we got a lot of excavators already doing work. Hmm. 
I really thought that would clear it up. Oh, is he doing it? Look at this guy. Okay, he's able to reach, so maybe they did clear. I think I'm going to just reset these guys. I'm going to hit recover. Since we just saw a truck make their way there, maybe these guys can do their thing. It could be something where they were able to build this pipe, but they still can't get to this to deconstruct it, or can't get close enough to deconstruct it. It is on a high priority. Could do a quick remove for Unity. That might be a good application for it. If we can't get trucks over there, we'll give it another minute. We send the ship out, and if it's, uh, if it's not fixed by then. Okay, ship is ready to go. Let's... Get out there. Let's go over this far node. Off we go. Yeah, I don't see any trucks coming. Let's try doing this with Unity. Quick remove. Boom. That might be a handy card to have up your sleeve. when things back up. Now the challenge is, is, is anybody going to be able to build this, this storage? It's not the end of the world if we can't get it built. It's not vertical. It is super snug here. It could be they don't, they can't make it around that turn. Let's keep our eyes peeled for trucks that say they can't get where they want to go. Here's one right here. He wants to build our belt, but can't get there. Well, I think we're just going to have to cancel that plan. Yeah, I cannot get trucks over there. Not sure why. It is pretty congested. Trucks can obviously get over to this side. But just this corner is just too much. Is there anything we could do about that? What about reworking this pipe set up a little bit? Let's try it just for fun. Tear this out. That can go. Actually, this isn't really where the problem is, though, is it? The problem's over this way, further over. That's not going to solve our problem. Let's see if we can get this pipe hooked up, back up. That yeah, we can. Oh, you know what else we could do here? We could do the same thing. Deliver, quick deliver with Unity. Uh, that would solve our problems. Let's finish this pipe and then we'll do that. Get done with this. I gotta wait for this. Okay, we're gonna use some Unity just to speed up time here. Quick remove that. And we'll just change this pipe network a little bit. We don't have so much pipe sticking out in the corner here. Boom, that can go. We'll do a quick build with Unity there. And... We'll build with Unity here, <laughs> and we'll build with Unity here. Boom. We're not we're using our own materials, so it's not building out of uh, thin air, but it is allowing us to get around having to have a truck route to it. Okay, here's our battle. Nice, we could take out one of their guns early. All right, one ship down. We're in good shape. Gone. Nice. Horn seeds. Hooray. Found some loot. Very good. Oh, look, that was like on the way or something. 
Look at our boat is still making their way there. So I encountered... <clears throat> oh, I see. We took a different route to it. It didn't go the safe route. He went through this way. Well, we've got corn seeds. I think that's going to unlock something for us in the tech tree. Can we build this last little nugget and be done with this project? Do it. Occurs to me now, is anybody going to be able to get to pick up the rubber over here? Okay, this guy can, right? These guys are dropping off rubber from the dock, right? When we brought people with us, the refugees brought along some rubber. So they can get to it. So we should be able to pick up from it. And we can unpause that rubber maker. Now that we've got the extra storage, I think. Yeah. And let's get that going. Because otherwise we're just burning off the materials and wasting them. When we could be making rubber that I know we're going to use. All right. Man. Okay, our ship is exploring a new region. Eventually we got to get back to doing this stuff. We're really like pretty anemic as far as our production over here. Probably need to turn on one of these guys. And we need to turn on, we need to get some um, construction part threes built at least a hundred so we can do our upgrades. I may turn off the cargo depot once our ship comes back just to free up resources. Kind of want our main ship to keep clear in the map. We've got a bunch of sectors to clear. All right, location explored. More workers, a little bit more rubber, copper, and electronics. All good. Ship is in decent shape. Can it go here? Nope. Ship is too damaged. We got to head back. Go home. How's food? Food's starting to dip. We had it at 1,000. Now it's at uh, 940. Water, you can see, is pretty darn good. We're in good shape on water. Maintenance is a problem. What's going on? Is it copper? We've got lots of copper. It's probably iron plates getting delivered. Yeah, this guy needs iron plates. We really should have that belted. And because we've got such a backup here in our truck, trucking, having those three trucks that were all kind of stuck and didn't know where to go, that slows down the entire transit on the island because I don't have a lot of surplus trucks right now. We've got a lot of trucks allocated to doing this landfill kind of stuff. I want to keep that moving. So we're running pretty thin. All right, here's our cargo ship. I'm going to go ahead and pause all this. I'll free up workers so we can get um, construction parts built. We've got, ooh, how are we doing? Still have at least six tanks full of crude. 2,400 diesel. I think we're okay to not bring in more crude for a little while. Let's see if we get, in fact, we can uh, see. Oh, these guys both have a lot of storage left. The offshore oil rigs. I was going to take down one crew. I might still do it. Let's go down to one shift each. Let's get serious about our parts production here. We can actually move things forward. We are having issues getting iron and coal to the blast furnaces. Turn on at least one of these guys. So let's figure out how, where do we want to route iron and coal? How do we want to do it where we're not blocking everything? And then where would we want to put our storages for this stuff? Near the mine, I'm guessing? Like right near the mine, right? 
So yeah, we're having maintenance issues. It should catch up. Let's make this a big priority. Make that priority. How about priority one? So if there's copper to be delivered, bring it. I think this will catch up. We're going to want a belt of coal and a belt of iron. We want to do it in a way that's not going to kill the transport on the island. Kill our trucking lanes. And it wouldn't hurt to get rid of this slag. <laughs> so the ramps, if we try to make use of ramps, man, do they take up a lot of space. They're just giant. Look at these things. Hmm. Right, right now I'm thinking of how to get rid of this slag with a belt and take it all the way down to the coast. Maybe on a belt that's parallel to this one. Then I'm thinking how to get iron and coal in here on belts as well. And in a way that doesn't impede the traffic. It gets a little tricky. I'm going to hit pause. And I'm going to run a little experiment here on belts. Let's take a look and see what's possible as far as hopping over a belt that's at max height. I think we might be able to do that. And I'll show you why we might want to. <clears throat> Let's see. If I had a belt over here, let's say I say our let's say our iron belt is over here somehow. Will the will they let me hop over this one? Sometimes the game seems to let me do that. And go an extra layer higher. So let me make sure I'm grabbing the right thing here too. Let's grab the U-shaped conveyor. That's what we really want. Max height. There's our belt of whatever. Say it's iron coming in. And I connect up to this guy. So I want this a little further over. I connect and hop over. With, uh, let's see. Let's unsnap. I'm going to click R to unsnap. See how it's letting me hop over? No, it's not. In a few places, it lets me actually hop over a belt. Where am I? Um, max height. How can I get it to force that behavior? What I want to do, uh, I guess it doesn't hurt if I go under, does it? Under and back up. I want to bring a tall belt across here so trucks can go underneath and then bring it down and snake it back into the input there. So. Show you what I'm thinking of doing. It's going to be something like this, but not quite as ugly. Right? Something like that. So I can let my truck still go through both directions. That's almost perfect right there. I would like it if it was right next to each other. That might be the best I can do. And why does that even matter? Because um, that will allow me to run a belt in parallel with iron down here and feed these four blast furnaces with iron without impeding traffic. And then I can put a loose storage somewhere outside of our iron deposit. Probably two loose storages. 
you know, eventually we're going to dig down here. So it's kind of got to be, you know, a little bit over this way, maybe. Let's uh, turn off the overlay for a second. And it doesn't matter which belt's on the inside or the outside. We're, we're going to have to hop belts pretty much no matter what. And then as we chip away at this mountain, <laughs> it's going to take a long time, though. There's a ton, a ton of earth to move there. And we'll do, I'll do some of this between episodes. I'm curious to see what we can do. I, can we flatten the entire island? I'll hit F11 here. Probably not. Probably not in this playthrough. But we may get a meaningful chunk of it flattened out. But it'd be cool to try and build all our industry on this first level. If we can, we've got a bunch of stuff to build though, right? We've got desalination, we've got nuclear power, we've got just all wastewater treatment, we've got a bunch of stuff to do. And then obviously more farms and things. I was thinking temporarily to make space for industry stuff. We clear out these farms and all the water stuff, even the water, water storage here, this array, we could temporarily move that up over here. Cause it's going to take forever for us to chew through this land this side too but yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking so let's i'm going to get out of screenshot mode let's see where can i put iron storage and it'd be nice to be kind of close to where we're doing the mining we could move the mining designation too let's see i'm going to bring the overlay up a minute again we maybe we want to shift over this direction a little bit a little bit over this way. Although this is right at the heart of it, isn't it? The easy to get at stuff. And then, wow, that is like super duper deep. There's a little bit more iron for us. And there's some that's not so deep over here, it looks like. Once we chew through all that. Let's do it over here. We're not digging down yet, so it might be a while before we do. Let's put a loose storage nearby. Just got to keep in mind how many belts we want to run in this direction. You know what I mean? Leave space so that this loose storage isn't getting in our way. Hmm. Wow, I don't actually want all that overlay. I wonder why that's showing up. Where can we put this? Ideally over here, right? We got the same issue where we need to make sure we're not blocking truck routes on either side of these, this belt. Hmm. But it could go here and snake under. Just a little snug. I've got this one belt so close. Oh man, is that hard to see? All right, how about let's do one there? And then ideally, we could get two of these. Let's try it. We can always tear it up if it doesn't work. I'm going to put two in. Sometimes it's best just to move and then see how it turns out. Loose or U-shaped conveyor here. Boom, up. You are not going to connect. So I'll hit R to turn off the snapping. No, can you not get it? I guess you can't get up there yet.
Oh, it's going to be hard here. Look how tightly nested I'm in over here. We'll see what we can come up with. It's going to be a little tricky on that side. I'm going to take this out further than further than I need it. Just because uh, it usually actually comes in kind of handy. Okay, there is meant to be our iron ore. Let's get it signed. Iron ore here, iron ore here. Okay, we've got a belt that's going to bring it in or into this blast furnace. How do we get it into these two? <laughs> There's like no room to bring the belt down. Hmm. A <clears throat> little bit more challenging than I was hoping for. Again, the ramps are huge. I just, that's an option, but it's, man, are those things big. I mean, it's just, I'd have to move this conveyor over quite a bit. That's an option, though. We could move it. Or, I wonder, collision with pillar. Oh, so the pillars do have collision. Interesting. I didn't realize that. I thought we could kind of go through the pillars. That could be what's going on over here. So where you place pillars as you're doing your pipes and elevated belts and all that stuff matters. I have not really paid attention to that at all. Suppose I will going forward. All right, let's see. Can we make this work? Um... That definitely does work. Could we do something creative now that we're already over on this side? Like branch off of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Something like um here. What about something like this? Would something like this work? Uh, up. Just don't know if there's going to be enough room. Let's try this. We got the game paused. Okay, there's my iron on the inside line. That would mean this line would probably go away. In fact, this could just be a totally an inside line and we wouldn't have to do any of this belt weaving, right? The iron, where we need iron is pretty limited. Right, it's just this stretch right now. Probably is going to stay that way, to be honest. So there may not be a need to do this popping over belt stuff. Maybe with coal, it's a little different story. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'll tear this up. This is why I do some stuff between episodes because there's a lot of this kind of think time involved. Let's uh, let's 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 take this out. I've got kind of a different idea here. U-shaped conveyor. Uh, does anybody need to get back in here? Probably not. What about that? Trucks, if they need to get back through here for any reason, in theory they could do it. That might be a little narrow, but in theory they should be able to get under here. 
Oh, I didn't pay attention to where I put my little pillars, did I? Um, let's do it. Let's do that. Let's do that here. Just for practice sake. Don't usually worry about it. U-shaped conveyor back to you. I want to come up and I want my pillar out of the way. So I'm there. Okay. It doesn't want to place the pillar. So I'm going to force the pillar. Go back here. Click it, force it, place a pillar. I'm across. It still wants another pillar there. I don't know why. Then come back down. Yeah, I tried to make it so there wasn't a pillar in this little section. It's a little better than it was, but they did force me to put a pillar there, even though there's already two right nearby. Do the same thing on this one if we want. Let's do it just for discipline's sake. Practice. Shape conveyor. Here, up. Force the pillar there, come across. Not bad. Like I said, I don't know if trucks need to get in here anyway, but it's good practice. Uh, and then we can put our storage for the Iron, maybe we put it outside over here. The trucks have to go a little bit further, but it's not worth doing, I think, what we're doing here. This might make sense for coal. Let's... I'm going to pause... Uh, get rid of this. Maybe doing this again for coal, though. Let's just see. What's coal going to do? Coal is going to be coming from here for a long time. We'll probably find some way to come across. Maybe we'll get rid of some of this. Water collectors. If we come across, we got to do something kind of strange. Um, or we could do, oh yeah, we got to belt across this way, come down and do something similar. It's going to be super hard for them to drive through here. That's the only thing I'm a little nervous about. Let's tear up this stuff. Boom. 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 We may be putting it back here in about 50 seconds because uh, the other thing we got to belt out of here, if we can do it, we can find a way to do it, is the slag. This one's going to be the hardest. We have slag like right in deep down in there. Let's see if I can even get at it. Yeah, we can. And that makes sense to send down to the coast. I'm not using slag. We could crush it and use it for concrete. I had some early problems with that that were probably just my own fault. But the, just crushing up the rock seems to do just fine. We've got plenty of rock. I don't think we're going to run out of rock anytime soon. All right, let's finish up the iron. We're just about there. Let's get storages somewhere that make reasonable sense. Where we're not blocking stuff. We've got trucks dropping off wood here. We could... In the iron mines here, there's a lot... It's a little bit of travel time there. Could we try and belt this? Let's put a storage. We'll start with one because I'm just not sure how this is going to play out. I'm just going to put it out in the middle here somewhere. Something like that. And let's get a conveyor going. U-shaped conveyor. Eventually we'll get upgraded conveyors. And just general practice. I always go as high as I can with these belts. Well, we cut across the entrance to the warehouse with the wood. Stay up high through here because we're going to have to move slag at some point. 
and then dump this down to connect. Is that going to connect? Yep. That's it. Hit play. That'll chew up a lot of the rubber supply that we're, we have <clears throat> accumulated. And that's iron for our four blast furnaces. Hopefully that's hooked up right. Oh, I see a big, huge problem. I see a big, huge problem. I'm blocking the inputs to the coal. That's a problem. I think. Let's hit pause and see if we can get around that. I have a U-shaped conveyor coming in the other direction. And I hop over. This one I can sneak around. That's fine. What about here? Oh, uh, that looks like that's going to work. You need to hop over and feed that. Oh, it's ugly. It's ugly. The coal is going to be coming on this track, coming in this direction. It's just one that I have to do this hop over thing. I don't know that I've got much control over where it chooses to do its little loop if I get up close and personal yep, behind up back a ways that's better right that doesn't look horrible and then yeah we're going to be coming this direction I can sneak under here for this one hole uh, I could try to jump up high here if I want. Do I want to do that? Just to make this area passable. It may not matter. Some of this is I'm just kind of practicing, you know what I mean? I mean, no matter what, it kind of nestle under here. Then go up behind it. Let's just do it for fun. See if it works. Can't quite climb in parallel. Doesn't look like they're going to let me. Ooh. No. Let me unsnap with R. Oh, no. R is already on here. Snapping is turned off. I was just seeing if I could kind of sneak under here. But it doesn't look like they're going to let me. Not at that height. They're okay with that. And I would need to climb up more. Hmm. Seems like overkill big time. Me. Just curious though if it's possible. How else? I gotta get up to this port here. Yeah, the climb, it takes forever to climb. I have to do it here. Then I want to put a pillar there, force it, so I don't have a big pillar in the middle of the way here, but they're probably going to put a new one on for me. Uh, it's a little crazy. I think that's a little crazy. That would do it. <laughs> that would do it. And that could be our coal belt. In fact, it's so close to being done. I may just go with it. U shaped conveyor. You there. Oh, we just got to supply coal. Hit play. I'm going to, I'm probably going to go with that. It's not perfect. This is a little bit of silliness. I don't know that trucks are even going to go in here. There might be some other clever way. 
does. I can still get my slag out. That's the next thing. Okay, the rubber looks clear. I mean, the trees, the wood, they can supply wood. That looks fine. This guy, did we pick the product? Nope. Let's do iron ore there. Uh, in fact, we can assign the mining tower to that. This guy, boom. Or iron. Oh, we got to get coal. Coal and slag. Oh, man. Look at the time. Let's see. Where's our ship? Can we go out one more time? No, we're still waiting on parts. Trucks look like they're catching up. Diesel's doing well. Maintenance is fighting back. Fighting its way back. Kept plenty of copper plates. Coastal landfill is chugging away. Comes more water from the sky. Water has not been an issue at all in this playthrough. Zero problems. With water. Hey, we're doing okay in construction parts now. We've got 208 construction part twos. <clears throat> that's going to come down as we're building things. But we could think about delivering to the sawmill out there and see what that's all about. I think that needed 200 construction part twos. We are very, very slowly making construction part threes. You can see four little construction part twos making their way over there. Steel is not happening. What's going on with steel? Waiting on inputs. So yeah, let's wrap this episode here. I think next episode what we're going to end up doing, if I don't do it between episodes, we're going to need to ramp up the iron production. Probably put another excavator, maybe a couple more trucks. We may need to construct a couple more trucks. We've got room for 15 more in the fleet. Now is probably a decent time to do that. Add some more. Get iron going to make sure all these furnaces have the iron they need. Hopefully finish up these belts. Hopefully we have enough rubber for those. I think we got it. We have to, right? 70 in that storage and 180 there. Yeah, we should have enough rubber for belts. We can always order it too. We can always trade for it. That's always an option. Diesel's looking pretty good. We got plenty of tanks accrued. Cargo vessel is paused. But yeah, we'll focus on iron. We will see about getting coal hooked up as well on the belt. We got the belt there. I think that's what we'll stick with. That gets coal to our four blast furnaces. And then the next thing we need to do is get the slag out of here. And then we should be in a situation where trucks don't need to come over here anymore for this main, this part. Then if we really want no trucks coming over here, we've got two more things we got to do. We've got to get copper brought over to, we got to get copper plates routed over to our, um, our electric assemblies that are producing construction part twos that requires copper. So we're got to bring copper to these three guys. I've got the belts already sitting there waiting for it. We're going to hook up to this somehow. This one's in the way, so we'll have to wiggle around or do something. There'll be some more belt weaving fun, but there's a belt here that's going to feed copper into those. And then we've got one more over here that needs copper. So as we bring copper kind of down from the copper mine area, we'll do one little offshoot to supply this guy with copper and then continue a belt on down here and try and hook up to that little nugget right there. Then all of our construction part one, two, and threes should not involve any trucks coming through with the exception of trucks dropping off wood here to these storage buildings. I don't think we can get around that very easily. Here's iron plates cannot make their way to the shipyard. That's a huge problem. 
And he's just not able to get out. It's just too tight in here. We might have to take out a row of tanks. It's just a little too compact, I think. Can't get through here, obviously, apparently. That little belt may have done the trick, may have ruined it. Tell you what, I'm going to delete that. Whatever, I'm going to do some more work between episodes. <laughs> I'll run this episode on for two hours if I don't stop. But I think what I'm going to might do between episodes is take out this loose or this uh, U shaped conveyor. Just start going up high here and then find a way to double back down and go under. Because trucks can get through here just fine. So they could always go around that and get where they need to go. But this is blocking our path into here, apparently. Why are you in here? You're getting iron plates. Not sure you could have gotten them from over here. Let's turn truck export off on that one. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Glattercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks as always and deeply appreciated um, the support of Glattercat patrons and channel members. You guys are keeping the channel alive. Really appreciate that. And for everybody else, I'll see you all in the next episode.